I can't see you. Where's my face? I can't see you. Who are we talking to? You gotta open to? my camera, man. Huh? No, you're wide There's open. There's a button it's... you have to hit that opens the camera and brings me on. Let me... I brought you on. Let me see what's going Let on. Let me see. I hit the camera here. All right. Now the okay, camera's now off. Let me try again. Cut it on. Okay. Oh, I know what's wrong. Ah! I had paper over the lens because, you know, <laughs> people be looking in your lens. What? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? It looks like it's Michael Collier. Please ignore the chicken. <laughs> this chicken ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay, you remind right me of uh, see you. This reminds so me. So how you the, doing, brother? This reminds me of the title Richard Pryor's third album. What was it called? That nigga's crazy. That nigga crazy. <laughs> well, Welcome yes, to sir. You got Welcome that right. Show. Well, good afternoon. How you doing? I'm good. Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Let me take this hat off because the white is making it bleed into the other stuff. Let me go with something a little more. Yeah, let me get you something y'all can see. See, matter of okay, fact, I think I'm going to move from having this white backdrop. We'll go over here where it's a darker backdrop. Then you can appreciate the hat. There you go. What up, player? Showtime. I'm doing yes, good. I, check out my hat, new merch. Got oh, nice. Real nice, black nice, hat. nice. So thank you for welcoming me to Philly. You know, last time I was here, I got a $100 ticket for smoking a cigar in the park at Rittenhouse Square. Oh, no. It was a big racist ordeal. So I filmed it the whole time, talked about the so-called cop like a dog, and 1.7 million people saw it on YouTube. Needless wow. to say, they apologized, and they dropped the ticket. And now I'm black. I mean, I'm back. I'm thank here to do helium cameras. this weekend. Yes, you're going to be at Helium uh, in Philadelphia this weekend as we speak, which is uh, May twenty, March 25th, excuse me. Oh, dang, you took up the May already. What you smoking? What you smoking? <laughs> yes, say. we have five big shows, two tonight, two tomorrow, and one Sunday. You have five opportunities to miss me. Funniest man on the planet, Michael Kaya. Ask your mom and Pookie and them. They'll tell you about me. Some of your mamas know me personal. Anyway... Welcome me to Philadelphia. Woo, woo, woo. I'm glad to be back. It is the yeah. town of brotherly love. What's have going you, on with you? I'm doing good. Have you had, I always ask, have you had your cheese steak? No, but I'm going to get one before I leave. I like to go to Ishka Bibble on South Street, but I haven't got to South Street yet. I just got here last night and I went and ate a restaurant today called Love. It's really good. Okay. Love is really, really good. Especially they Sunday and Saturday and Sunday brunch off the chain. Are you a foodie? I am definitely a foodie, which is a problem because I'm becoming a fatty along with being a foodie. Well, you know, we, we we're not kinda, really, though. We all Actually, I work chubby. out too much. Huh? We all kind of got chubby during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. We're going to blame it on the pandemic. It is that COVID <laughs> weight. I got that COVID weight. Mm -hmm. Shoot, COVID, because I couldn't wait to eat. I had COVID for 13 days, brother, and I lost 13 pounds. I ain't mad at COVID. I like COVID. In fact, I wish I had COVID two years ago, you know, um, and I just wish people quit blaming everything on COVID. You know, oh, man, I couldn't come work today. COVID. Man, I'm sorry I slept with your wife last night. COVID. If y'all don't knock it off, wear your dog on mask, wash your hands. I wash my hands 114 times a day, and it's only 2 in the afternoon. Matter of fact, if I wave at you, I wash my hands. I don't play. Me and my woman, we wear the uh, a mask to bed. You know, sometimes I don't know who I'm sleeping with. So I'm just saying, take it serious. COVID ain't no joke, y'all. Matter of fact, if you're on the phone with me and you cough, hang up on your ears right there. Bye. Gotta go. Now, you, you I mean, while we're talking, I mean, this this video will stay there forever. Uh -oh. You know, I don't know if it's going to get a million seven views, but hopefully it'll get a few people to the show tonight, which it's again is be March. It's a million point seven. So that's one million seven hundred thousand. Almost got two million. If I puffed it four more times, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Please, please, please treat this man well while he's here. Yeah, y'all gotta town. come see my show. It's so good. I'm so good. I wish I was in the audience watching me. I'm just trying to adjust this camera. I'm sorry. I'm all That's over the funny. place. You're probably getting dizzy with it. Oh, I'm seasick. Oh, somebody help me. Stop the boat. I'm sorry. So, what is your what is your show called? This is Real Black TV. Real um, black. Oh, that makes sense. Real -E -E black. That's why there's no viewership. That's what you mean. No viewership. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. We have 1.1 million subscribers, Mr. Collier. 
You do. Yes. So are most of them in the Philadelphia area? Unfortunately, it's, it's planetary. We we promote the uh, our mission is to educate, entertain, and enlighten and empower through the magic of film. So we we speak about black film, black culture, and black consciousness. And we've been around since mm. two thousand seven. So um, oh, I love really that. What's your favorite here. black film? My favorite one. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, wait, Blazing Saddles is behind me right now. Um, Cooley High. I'll give it to Cooley High. Come on, somebody. Chicago. Set in Chicago, as you know, there is no real Cooley High. No? Oh, that's right. It was... No, isn't it, it called Cooley High in Chicago? No, they made that up. Ain't no damn Cooley High. Okay. Ain't no Cooley High. What's it based on, then? I didn't know. Uh, probably was... Simeon. Okay. Simeon on 74th and Ashland. Looks sort of like what Cooley High could have looked like. And if there is a Cooley High, although I lived there half of my life, I never heard of it. I never found it. Okay. So let me not say definitively that there's no Cooley High, because there actually might be a Cooley High. Oh, and in your town, my friend is in here in Philadelphia. Uh, his name is Cigar Williams. And okay. Cigar Williams has a company called One Laugh at a Time, y'all. And he's got a big concert coming up here with some really great comedians. So please go online, look up One Laugh at a Time. But why are you looking? Look up my morning show. I do a morning show five days a week called the Michael Callier Morning Show. It's on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, put in the Michael Callier Morning Show. Today I did my 379th show. We have comedians, musicians, artists, and prayer. Every show, brother. We just I just believe the people are so messed up, more messed up by stress and fear than they are by any actual virus. And the way we eliminate that is keeping God first, staying prayed up, staying positive trying to stay as healthy as we can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. No. I mean, how does that work? Um, you know, typically a morning show is on the radio, but this is on YouTube. I mean, well, do you no, from there's, your house there's morning shows on YouTube. Okay. Uh, but you're live. I'm the first one. I hope I'm the only one. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And although I'm on uh, YouTube, it's a morning show. A lot of people don't watch it till the evening. Okay. Like I, I get a little under 100 folks doing the actual show. But by the close of the day, seven to 900 people have seen the show. Okay, you know, well, so it's going really, really well. Well, we want to get those numbers up for you because you're hilarious. Thank you're you, hilarious. Sir. And I enjoy your Let's Instagram as well. Numbers. Yeah, my Instagram. I do some cute stuff on Instagram. But like I said, I told you I got this ticket for smoking. I'm going to get another cigar, walk in the middle of the park and light it up. And we're going to film it about 30 minutes from now. As soon as I get to talking to you, we head back to the park. <laughs> Let them write me another ticket. I could take another million point seven uh, views. <laughs> I got all kind of stuff coming up though, yo. My first album is coming out in two weeks. It's a picture of me sitting on the toilet, and it's called "Let Me Drop This On You." Okay, so that's coming up soon. I'm about to shoot a special on Venice Beach where I started. Uh, I'm about to get my own podcast. It's gonna be even bigger than the radio show. Now, the radio show, we've had over two thousand people on in these three hundred seventy nine shows. I put on over three hundred and fifty comedians. So there's a comedian every morning. Sometimes it's two. This morning we had three. We just want you to start your day with positivity, light, joy, you know, and God. You got all those things in your mix. When you start, you have a great day because your day always ends the way it begins. You get up grumbling and fussing, kick your foot on some. Oh, man, I always kick that thing. Your day going to be terrible. But if you get up reminding yourself, I am magnificent. I'm brilliant. I'm great because God created me and God don't make no jump. He said, let me take a wire hand, a rubber chicken, and uh, let's let's make some niggas. No, he made us out of designer genes, G-E-N-E-S. So we are already the best of the best. Ask the chicken. <laughs> Don't mind him. He going through something. But anyway, we are already the best of the best. Exactly as you are, you ain't got to apologize to nobody. God ain't never been mad at you. Uh, all you got to do is learn to love yourself. That's the only key. Once you learn to love yourself, you automatically love the world, the world because love is an inside job. Once you loving you, you love everybody else. When you ain't loving you, man, you walk around with your fist balled up, always trying to look for some trouble to start. But ain't no trouble in the world of God. In the world of God, there's nothing but love, baby. And love is the solution. It's the answer. And if that's not the answer, you're asking the wrong question. I love it, Mr. Collier. Now, we just have a couple minutes left. Let me ask you a couple more hey, questions. Hey, no, you're going to take my time up and spend no couple of minutes. We're going to be here till Tuesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. What were you saying? We, we can go longer, but I'm hoping when we get onto our monetized platform, you'll, you'll do a longer one with us. I want to get this up tonight so that people know about the shows. You have a so, monetized platform? We're moving over. 
breaking okay. news we're moving over to uh, patreon so so um oh, we're looking to bring right. longer conversations more meaningful conversations like what you're suggesting you know the spirituality black mm -hmm. empowerment empowering all, people of all colors quite frankly but mm -hmm. but we're, we're mainly concerned with black folks um mm -hmm. we don't need to empower white folks no more let's just empower the black folks black power black power black power i'm sorry please don't get me started so let's move on to the next thing the next thing i get to perform is that what you're saying no 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 well tell us about the show and and current affairs on the morning show do you talk about the news at all always well the only thing we're talking about in la right now is kanye exactly you know? now is he kanye crazy got something every day huh is kanye crazy he is crazy uh he's crazy but he's a genius yes. and but the problem is he's crazy in love when a person don't love him no more mm. and you got to get to the point in your life where if it don't work you got to move on you know what i'm saying i'm recently uh exited a relationship i've been in with this lady who i love 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 for nine years but as of june we ended it because it wasn't working no more if a thing ain't working just move on bumping up the road like the one-legged man the worst thing in the world to stay with somebody long time after you know it don't feel good no more get on up the road that that way you also relieve them to find what their joy is you know because if you ain't supplying it they ain't supplying yours why y'all there what y'all there for bump on up to see let me tell you something look for what your heart desires everything you're looking for is looking for you whatever mm -hmm. you're seeking is seeking you just be comfortable enough to be open to it you know what i'm saying and be open to receive the blessings that god means for you divinely for you but you gotta get out your own way most people be standing their own way man you know is that what we call the law of attraction well the law of attraction is whatever you concentrate on is what you get Okay. So if you're only concentrating on love, you get love. You concentrate on money, you'll get money. You concentrate on a fight, it's a fight coming. You might as well ball your fists up. The law of attraction is whatever you vibrate, which is the most universal law, whatever you vibrate on is what happens. You know, I have people say to me, uh, the universe has cursed me or the universe has blessed me. The universe does neither one. The universe responds to your vibration. Whatever you send into the universe is what you get back greater. You want more love, more peace, more joy, more wisdom? Send that out everywhere you go and see if you don't have it, you know? Yeah. Right. So what, what loves you, loves you back. Now, one of the famous stories for Michael Collier, I don't know if people know this, uh, Michael started out on the Venice Beach, you know, just doing street performing. Mm -hmm. Got discovered by Star Search, one Star Search. Mm -hmm. How much money was it? A hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. yeah. And you gave half of it away. Damn it. I've been trying to get that back ever since. <laughs> but it came back to you though, didn't it? If you trust the it law, it came back to me fifteen times, brother. You know, I can't tell you how many times people hired me for a show. When we froze, man. and uh, what's the guy who got the? He got a neck now. He didn't have a neck before, and he lost weight. Now you can see his neck. Oh, Lavelle Crawford. Oh. It'd be like between one of us, and and people call me and say, Mr. Caillou, between you and this other artist, and we remembered how you gave back to the homeless, and we said we gonna give this money to you. That's happened to me a dozen times, at least. But I didn't do it to get something back, you know, because if you, if you're doing something to get it back, then it's not a gift. It, it's a it's a bargain. This was not a bargain. This is a gift. The good Lord blesses me every moment. I did crack cocaine for 23 years. As of March, this March 1st, I just turned my 11th year of pure sobriety on, you know? Yeah. And so I beat crack cocaine and COVID. You can't beat a complaint out of me. No, I get I get up every morning with an attitude of gratitude. First thing I do when I get up is I pray. Well, I brush my teeth first because I like to talk to God with a dirty mouth. But then I pray. But my prayers ain't about begging, oh, God, please give me. I already know God wants me to have what I want to have. My prayers about gratitude. Thank you, God. Thank you for all of it. Thank you for my life. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the humor. You know, humor is healing. If, if you can laugh through a thing, you can get through a thing. You know, so I'm blessed to be an ambassador of joy, an ambassador of mirth. I am here to heal you through humor and to guide you on the way towards life. You know, like I said, somebody was saying God is good, but not to me. To me, God is great. Chicken is good and God is great. <laughs> Joy is, your joy is infectious. Now, are you following the, uh, as we speak, the civil, the uh, Supreme Court hearings? Absolutely. I see, I see Republicans balling their fists up and stuff. It's really just because the sister about to get in there. They don't have no other justification for trying to try her. 
She's already proven that she's excellent in her job. Now they try to disguise reasons for saying, we don't want you in here. We already got one Uncle Tom, uh, Clarence Thomas, and hopefully he'll be gone soon so we can get back to our whiteness. But no, 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 no. We're going to have the sister up in there. If y'all don't get that one, he got seven more lined up. So you're going to be uh, turning down people till the end of time because sister about to get up in the Supreme Court. There's going to be a whole different thing because she's going to talk to Clarence right. She's going to be like, Negro. How you voting with them when you know that don't make no sense? They ain't gonna help none of your people. Oh, you're going by the decision of your white wife. I'm sorry. Go ahead and be you. I'm sorry. Don't get me carried away. See, you taking me into the territories I didn't want to go into. I try to stay comedian, but you're trying to make me a social uh, commentary. Well, in your bio, it says that you are, are a conscious comedian. So I, I got to go there with you a little bit. Oh, I, I'm conscious somewhat discretion. conscious. You know, I, yep. I, but it said that I'm bi. No, on your bio. Your oh, my bio. bio. Oh, okay. Because I thought they said bi, they meant bi coastal, you know, because I spent a little time in New York, a little time in LA, you know. All right, so go ahead. Pause. Yeah, no, right. I am, you know, I what I use comedy for is an entree into your heart so that I can tell you the stuff I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. So when I'm talking about safe sex, I want to joke with you first so you let your guards down and open up, you know. When I remind you that condoms come in a, a, a six pack, an eight pack, and a 12 pack. Now, six pack is for Hispanic brothers. That's for making love Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but off on Sunday. Uh, eight pack, that's black brothers. That's for making love Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and twice on Sunday. And of course, the uh, 12 pack, them white dudes. That's January, February, March. See, now when you do that, people laugh. And when people laugh, they let their guards down. And that's when I remind you of the importance of condoms because people, whether you know it or not, are still dying of AIDS mm -hmm. every day. Because they're playing unsafe now. They let their guards down because they think it's okay. Same thing with COVID. People are taking the mask off now because they think it's okay because some people ain't getting sick. But you want to still stay keep your COVID up. You want to build your immune system. Eat plenty of vegetables. Take vitamins. All natural stuff. Echinacea, golden seal, black seed oil, oil of oregano, ginger root. I drank so much ginger root tea the other day, I peed a cup of ginger ale. So what I'm saying is with conscious comedy, if I talk to you and get you to laugh, then you're going to be quiet and listen. You're going to say, what is he going to say next? And that's when I'm going to trick you and send them some knowledge about the truth. Okay. Well, Mr. Collier, I want everybody who's watching to follow you and Please. to subscribe to your YouTube channel so that Please. they don't miss out on the mirth, the joy, the laughter that Come you provide audiences every single day, not just this weekend at Helium Comedy Club and every mm -hmm. weekend at comedy clubs around the country. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're, you're yeah, available so to us. And I want to give yeah, you your on, flowers because yeah, you are one of the greats. Yeah, go to my web page, very sexy web page, therealmichaelcallier.com. They'll tell you all the things I'm doing because I do my morning show, one-hour show, five days a week, every week. Come hell or high water, we do that show. Uh, and every Tuesday, 3 in the afternoon on Instagram, I read books to the children. It's called Reading with Mr. Mike. There's a puppet, actually, who's, who owns the show. His name is Roscoe. And he an idiot. He always be making fun of the fact that my lips move as much as his. I can't stand him. But he brings me on and then I read to the kids. And then on Wednesdays, I do superstar interviews. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Los Angeles time. I've done Wyclef John, Yolanda Adams, Fred Hammond, Dougie Fresh, uh, uh, Russell Simmons. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm doing Wayne Lindsay. I'm doing T.K. Kirkland. And so we do that for 30 minute interviews. So that's what I do during the week. And then every weekend, I'm at six shows. I'm doing six shows in some major city. So you can follow me on YouTube by subscribing to the Michael Kaya Morning Show. You can follow me on Instagram. That's Michael Kaya. Or if you really love me, you can follow me on my cash app. Now, that's dollar sign, okay. Michael Kaya's Money. Quit playing, somebody. Say that again. Michael Kaya's Money with a dollar sign in front of it. You can bless a brother. I take five, ten, ten thousand, one dollar. I take whatever I can get. I don't turn down nothing but my collar. I love it. So I hope to see you tomorrow night. We have tickets, so we're going to check you out. Yay! What show? The first or second show? Well, the the it's sold out. The 7.30 is already sold out, so it's going to be the 10 o'clock. What? I didn't yeah, know we people got to hurry up and get your tickets now. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all better jump on it. Get them quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm so good. I wish I was in the audience watching me. So get some tickets. Bring your mama and Pookie and Run Run. They want to get off the couch? Bring them on down to Helium. Two shows tonight, 7.30, 10.30. Two shows tomorrow, 7.30, 10.30. One show Sunday, 7 o'clock. You have five opportunities to miss me, but don't you do it. Don't you, don't you do it. 
Okay. Last thing. What's your favorite black movie? Actually, my favorite black movie. And y'all ain't gonna like this. It's the color purple. Okay. And I really love the color purple because I then went to Broadway to see the play. And in seeing the play, which is different from the movie, you get to see what the real story was about. It wasn't about how mean-spirited black men could be to black women. It was really about, uh, it's about bringing yourself back. It's about mm -hmm. forgiveness. It's about uh, unfolding into your greater self. It's about continuing to thrive in a situation that would hold you down and standing in your greatness. It's, it's about uh, loving yourself in, in your present day, being the real you right now. It's such a powerful, powerful story. If you read the book, you'll be teared up. Read the book before you do the movie and see how you'll be. So that's, that might be one of my favorite off the top of my head. Although I really like the little thing that uh, Kevin Hart just did with Wesley Snipes. Oh, true called story. True story. Yeah, oh, my fun. God. Wesley Snipes was playing my brother. You know, my brother, man, shoot, he's going to figure out a way to get over on you. I can tell you that right now. I don't care what it is. He's a priest. He's going to figure out a way how to get that robe. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who he is. I really like that. But there's so much great work out there for black people. Bridgerton was amazing. Bridgerton was amazing. That Shonda Rhimes, anything by Shonda Rhimes mm -hmm. is just, it's just great. You know, uh, what Denzel did with uh, Fences, phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So, it, you know, I, I grabbed the picture off the top of my head, but I probably like 10 more than that. But I didn't know you were going to ask that question. Okay. I'll think about it more. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So, hope, you know, please follow me back on Instagram, but so that we can okay. stay, stay connected. And okay. uh, again, everybody follow Michael Collier. If he can't be in Philadelphia this weekend to see him live, you can catch him five days a week on ins Instagram and YouTube. And uh, thank, thank you again for your time, man. And you should DM me your name and number. Okay, Remind well. me who you are. And the next week or so, you should come on the show and be a guest from right where you're sitting. Come on the show for about seven minutes to tell us all about what your platform is. That would I'm, like I'm happy to do that, sir. Um, okay, I'm holding. Thank you for the though. invitation. I'll fo I definitely yes, will follow up. So you you hear it here first. You. Um, see you tomorrow night. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, enjoy your cigar. And I will. Hey, look. Let's keep God first, man. You remember, life is a garden. If you dig it, and really, life loves you. Life digs you, man. Life is like taking a bite out of a big old juicy apple. But the trick is, you got to love it right back, man. If you love it back, you're going to figure out a way how to love you. And once you get to loving you, the whole world changes. God is great, and you ain't too bad yourself. Have a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious kind of day, and let no one steal your rainbow. Thank you, King.